Hi, this is Nick Wolfman Repairs, and today we're going to USB C modify this Sega Genesis Model 2. All right. <laughs> now, this Sega Genesis Model 2 might look familiar to some of you. This was in my uh, 1,000 subscribers video. This has had extensive repairs to get the controller ports working. So it does work. Everything works on here, but it's not something that I would, you know, like sell to anybody because it just had too much work done to it. And I'll show you in case you didn't see that video. In case you didn't see it, I'll put it up here so you can see it. But anyway, this is the, the repairs that were done to control the ports so that they work. And they do work, surprisingly. But like I said, I can't sell this one. So let's experiment. So what I want to do is take this and put it here. Take this off. Make a USB-C. All right. <laughs> so let's give it a shot. I got my glue gun warming up. I got my solder iron heating up. First things first, let's remove this old barrel jack. All right, let's get a little flux on here. I'm going to try just a little solder wick and maybe the pump. If that doesn't work, we'll go to low melt solder. Usually I'm reflowing these uh, power ports. It's kind of weird to take one off. Ow, it's hot. Yeah, that was easy. It's still hot. <laughs> Clean this flux off with a little IPA. All right, let's see if this will even fit over here. I mean, not really. Not without it being all wonky. I mean, I'm okay with wonky. It's just, it won't look good though. I need a smaller trigger board, is what I need. Can we do it upside down? Well, we could do it upside down. Nothing wrong with being upside down, right? Now, what do you guys think? All right, let's get some wires attached to our board here. Now, I didn't mention this before. Our trigger board set 12 volts. Now, the output on these power bricks is, uh, where is it now? Can you see it? 10 volts. There it is. But these things never put out 10 volts. It's more like 13, 14 volts they put out. So 12 volts will be fine.
All right, so we got some wires on this now. I don't really need them all that long. back in here see how we want to mount this whole deal yeah this capacitor is in the way All right, well, we're going to have to route the wires around, I guess, and underneath. So my plan is to put the wires here on this here filter. Um, let me show you. This side here is ground. And this side here is positive. So I see it doesn't beep on the ground. So this side does. So we're going to put our ground here and a positive here, and maybe put the wires underneath here to support this thing up in the air a little bit, kind of thing. I don't know. We'll see. Now, of course, we could have cut the wire shorter, but... Where's the fun in that? Let's just make a big long snake. You know what we could do? We could shove the wires down here through these holes. Wouldn't that be easier than what we're trying to do here? Alright, which side's ground? Let's see. So these two are ground, this one's positive. We need to make these wires shorter. There's no need for this to be this long. Okay, I got our wires jammed in the hole. And that should work. Just gotta position it so that it looks good. Let's get the case in here and see how that looks. Well, I mean, if you can't see it. It's really far off. Let's kind of jam this over a little more. Oh, there we go. This 
just going to bend this capacitor down a little bit more to get it out of the way. I think we could hot glue that right to the AV jack and we'd be good to go. Look at that. So let's do that. Let's hot glue this to the AV jack. Now, it would probably be a good idea to replace this capacitor with a new one if you're doing this, but uh, yeah, we're just experimenting here, so it's all right. It'll be fine, or it won't. Does it matter? Not really. All right, now I gotta hold this for an eternity while this dries. All right, I think it's dry enough. Let's see how it looks. We're not even touching anything. So I think that works. Well, we haven't tested it yet, but it looks okay. <laughs> we should probably get something in here to support it on this side. Let's see what I got laying around. All right, we're going to... Go ahead and sacrifice this here spudger as support. I'm gonna cut a piece and put it here, and maybe here. I'm hot glue it in just so it supports the uh, USB C. Oh, that just went flying somewhere. Great. Let's try it again. Let's see if I can hold it. Ow. All right, you're only going to get one support. Why don't I put this down, hot glue it in, and then cut it? That makes sense, wouldn't it? Ow! Grab the front end of the hot glue gun. Let that sit for a minute. Oh, you can't even see what I just did. I just put some hot glue right here. And now we wait. All right, it's been a few minutes. Let's go ahead and snip this guy off. Oh, great, we got the pointy end that way. So when I snip this, it'll go flying. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Thankfully, no one's home. All right. Give this a try. We probably should have tried it before we hot glued it all over the place. How are we looking? We're looking okay. It's not really. Can you focus? It's not really centered, centered, but I mean, as long as we can get the cable in there, right? Should we put it back together all the way first? Should we be one of those guys? It puts everything back together before testing it out. Let's just see if the shielding still fits. Not that we need this. The shielding does not still fit. I mean, you kind of, if you bend it, you know, in the right kind of, kind of way, it sort of fits. Not really, though. I mean, who uses RF anyway? All right. And the lid.
Right, I mean that doesn't look half bad. Let's plug it in and see what happens. You know what? Let's screw it back together first. Why not? So I got a couple of screws. I know there's no screws in the RF shield. All right, we're screwed together. AV cable. USB-C. I see a light on in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a red light on. Showing that it's getting power. Where's the game? Streets of Rage 2. All right. We got power. We got Streets of Rage 2. All right. Sweet. Our USB-C powered Sega Genesis Mall 2. All right. It works. Yeah, it works. Yeah, it works. Works. All right. Cool. That was super easy. Now, if I could find a smaller, uh, what you call, USB-C trigger board, I could probably make that fit a little better. But for now, I mean, it works. That's pretty awesome. So our experiment worked. We have USB-C powered Sega Genesis Model 2. So we don't need this big old power brick anymore. Where did I throw it? Well, I would have known if I thrown it. I grabbed another one because I couldn't find the one I was using just now. But yeah, see, this says 10 volts. And we're running 12 volts, and we're all right because there is a voltage regulator right here that reduces it down to 5 volts so the system can run properly. But yeah, it's working great, which is pretty awesome. So we could just kind of chuck this thing over there. And we don't need that no more. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it very much. And we'll see you next time. Oh.